3D printing has come such a long way and ever since I got into 3D printing, I have really enjoyed the aspects of being able to not only design things that you need, but also seeing your imagination come into fruition with just the click of a button. Now, previously I was using a Flash Forge Guider 2S and I did make a full dedicated video on it as well. So if you guys are interested in that, we'll have links in the description or on the top right. So you can choose those to go check that printer out. But that printer was basically a behemoth for the time and it has a large print volume and it was uh, capable of up to 300 degrees of extrusion and it was also capable of printing basically all sorts of filaments because it was an enclosed printer. Today we are checking out the Flash Forge Adventure 5M Pro. Now this is their latest printer. Now this is more a consumer printer so it's actually more of a affordable 3D printer in comparison to the Guider 3S. It is smaller, it is lighter but it is equally if not more capable and it is priced at a starting price of $499 and roughly in India it is priced at 49,000 rupees. Now despite being affordable this has a lot of new features in its belt and the one being that it is basically an instant plug and play printer. The minute you unbox it it is completely built so you don't have to worry about building the printer and it comes with everything installed so you don't have to worry about setting it up either. Another good thing about this is that it has a auto self leveling bed so you don't even need to turn screws with this one because it will automatically adjust the level of the bed to give you that perfect level so that you get good prints every time. Another advantage is that despite the small size, you still get a decent print volume. So you have a 220 by 220 by 220 mm print volume. And the height is where it hurts the most because Guider 2S was capable of 300 millimeters of height, whereas this can only do 220 millimeters. So while I was printing a lot of big things with the Guider 2S, I will not be able to do that with this one. And I keep saying was because the Guider 2S is presently not working. Working. It, I think, fried itself. The board sort of shorted out and uh, the build plate heated up to a point where everything melted on it. So I replaced the heated plate, but the machine is still not working and the status is presently unknown. So I'm not sure if I can replace the board or repair the board. So for that, it's presently in a non operational order. So, which is why this is even more important and it comes in a lot useful for us, especially around the office. Now, of course, you have some novelty prints. So if you're printing things like toys, uh, this does that really well. And it has a built-in camera and you can monitor your prints and it also saves a time lapse so you can go back to it and watch a time lapse of your prints at any time and the biggest advantage of this printer basically is the fact that it prints at 600 millimeters per second whereas my previous printer the guider 2s could do about 150 to 200 so this is three to four times faster in terms of its printing and it still manages to print in all sorts of print filaments so whether you're doing pla petg or even abs which is basically what we print with a lot which is ABS, this comes out to work really well. Now it does have built-in HEPA filters. So if you're doing printing indoors, you don't have to worry about the toxic fumes. You do have to worry about changing the filters out, but that's a problem for a later day. The touchscreen on this is far more responsive than the previous one, which was, I think, not capacitive even. It was resistive. So on this, it's a capacitive screen and it's extremely responsive and it almost works as your smartphone. It also has a large built-in memory so you can send it prints and then choose from the print library and print quickly. So that makes it really convenient convenient to use. Also, it connects over Wi-Fi and you can connect it to cloud printing services, whether from FlashForge or third parties, and it will allow you to basically print remotely if you don't want to be bothered coming physically to the printer. On a local network, also you can monitor the camera feed, whereas on cloud services, it doesn't work that well. Now, we did suffer a lot of failures with ABS because I was used to printing ABS on the previous printer, but on this, I needed to tweak around the settings quite a lot and I needed to have the fans completely completely off to get a better print. So you can disable the fans from the flash print software and basically get a better print with ABS in case you decide to buy this printer. Now there was a use case scenario where this printer basically came in handy. One of our tripods, the coupler of the spreader broke. Now to fix it, all we need is a coupler part, which is this part right here, but the company doesn't sell this separately. And while it is available overseas, I had no way of having it shipped to India. The service center wanted 10,000 rupees for the part plus some service charges, which kind of sounds ridiculous, especially if you're in the 3D printing game. So I basically removed one of the non-broken couplers from the tripod and measured it out with my calipers, put it in a design software. In my case, I was using Fusion 360 and basically created a mock-up and had it printed. Now, after being printed, this product basically fit into the tripod quite easily and my tripod was fixed for maybe 30 
30 rupees in filament cost versus 12,000 rupees of uh, the actual service cost. But here, of course, the cost of the printer is there and it sort of pays off because not only can you make parts that are specific and not easily available, but you can also make things uh, that you may use around the office. So we've got some tool holders that we built with this. We also built some silica gel boxes. These allow you to keep your camera equipment fresh and out of moisture. And then we also built some other small things here and there that really help sort of showcase the ability of these 3D printers because you can't always have things available when you have a need for them, but you can always design and print things when you have a need for them. Well, this 3D printer is amazing. It's a small powerhouse and it has all the features that we need. And it is one third the price of the previous printer. Albeit it's smaller, but it's much faster, a lot more precise, and it has a maximum acceleration of 20,000 millimeters per second, which is kind of ridiculous. So not only does it extrude faster, but it also jumps from point A to point B much faster, which also you can see in some of the print shots that we showed off in this video. If you have any particular questions or queries about this, uh, drop them in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next one.